This week's portion shof team presents us with an unusual juxtaposition of two laws. The portion begins with the very, very famous phrase tzedek tzedek tirdof, justice justice shall you pursue, and describes in that section how judges need to be blind concerning the people who come before them in judgment. They shouldn't be looking at the person's wealth or their status in the community. Justice needs to be blind to that, but open to equality and fairness under the law. And so this section that begins the portion shof team is quite an advance on other societies at the time, 3,000 years ago, which did in fact give preference to those who had wealth and those who had social status. So on the one hand, the beginning of the portion is socially radical for the time and quite progressive. And on the other hand, we have a couple of chapters later, a description of how when the Israelites settle in the land of Israel in just a short time from when Moses is speaking to them, that they are to set up uh, three cities of refuge within the land of Israel that will be there for anyone who commits an accidental act of manslaughter. The portion describes such an incident uh, a man and his friend go out to the woods to chop down a tree. The axe head flies off the handle of the axe in the motion of one person chopping the tree, and that axe head strikes and kills the friend that he is with. The Torah d- tells us that the family of that dead man is allowed to chase the person who committed that act of manslaughter and kill him as an act of vengeance. And so the cities of refuge are set aside in order to protect such a case of accidental manslaughter. So if the portion can be progressive on the one hand at the very beginning, how can it retain this very ancient act of blood vengeance? Why is it? And in fact, the Talmud maintains these cities of refuge and describes for us in great detail the legalities involved in allowing a person to get to the city and defining for us who such an accidental manslaughter perpetrator is. So, So it's fascinating as we look at the Torah reading to see how progressive on the one hand and ancient on the other hand the Torah is, and how it tries to navigate the folkways of the people and understand how we can advance with laws of justice in our day. Such is the case today when we try to evaluate laws. We need to navigate the system and try to understand where people are coming from and to lead them in the right direction. Shabbat Shalom.